We always ask you to report bugs, but never really explain you how to report one. Well, I just got a crash in Blender, and I thought well, maybe we can go together in the process of reporting this crash. In my case, it's fairly easy to reproduce. I just found out by shift clicking on the X here in the materials, Blender disappears, it's gone, it crashes. There are a few steps that I think is important to go through before even getting to report the bugs, just to save your time and the developers. So first, are you using the latest Blender? That's, uh, that's very important because maybe the crash has been fixed already. So for that, go to download, then go to the experimental section. You can also go to blender.org slash experimental, it's a shortcut, and then you download the latest. So how do you know if you're using the latest version? Well, in this case, you can see up here, you have the date of the of this build. In this case, it's from a few hours ago. So consider that very recent. Then the second step is, is this bug already reported? So before even going through the travel of making a bug report, make sure you find, you, you try to search for duplicates. Go to developer.blender.org, the developer portal, then browse bugs, then edit query in the top right. Here you can write up maybe like, in this case it's crash, maybe it's grease pencil, um, just a few keywords that are gonna show you at least if there is maybe um, some tasks already created. This one seems to be from June. This is not related. So, okay, simplify. This step is especially when you are working on like big scenes, for example, I'm, I'm really sure that it happens only in Grease Pencil. Maybe I can just try with a cube, right? So I did a, a 3D object and then I shift click in the material to delete it. It nothing, it survived. So then I go to a more complex scene. Let's see, um, let's see maybe if I shift click on other materials, this one works. So, okay, maybe this is the top material that is giving the issue. Shift click and it still works. It's not happening in a complex file. Let's try to go in a simpler file. So let's see, let's add a material in a blank um, object, grease pencil object, shift click, and it's alive. So let's find if the stroke has it. Let's try to shift click again and Blender crashes. So we're getting there. What is th this step is more about investigation. It's like you're a detective and you're trying to, to get to the bottom of this case. So we know we realized that by clicking on the first item, apparently, of the stroke or a monkey, you get it to crash. What happens if I click maybe if I shift click on the second, the red? green, they all work just fine. Apparently it's only the first item on the list. This is important because we are actually getting a uh, more information about this crash. We are getting to like, okay, when we have to report it, we can tell the developers don't even bother looking into uh, other slots. Just check for the first material slot and um, try to make it a bit simpler. So the simplify um, step is for when you're working with a huge scene with uh, many, many characters, many textures, and uploading that online is going to be slow, but also it's going to be slow for the developer to try and find out. Because imagine maybe the crash happens on playback or on modifiers and the modifier stack can be long. So you don't know exactly which one of them. So if you have, for example, many modifiers, try to delete as much as possible and then leave only what you have, what causes the crash. So in this case, for example, I would go ahead and remove all the materials that I'm not using or all the characters except the one that I'm actually working on. So maybe I can reproduce the crash here. In this case, I can even go ahead and remove some of the layers of this object and then just leave it like as simple as possible. Remove the actions, remove materials, remove scenes that you're not using, remove node setups, remove as much as possible, make it super clean and easy because it's gonna save your time and developers time. So it means more bug fixes. So what I can do is make a simple file for this. So I will just go ahead, add a little, remove all the cameras, all the, the lamps, because I don't need them. Then grease pencil, add a monkey, maybe even simplify it even further. So remove all the other the slots. So leave only the first one. I'm gonna save this file, like grease pencil crash. 
and let's see if I can still make it crash. Shift click, still crashes. Good. So uh, simplify, reproduce, and now it's time to report. How do you do it? Well, you can do it from within Blender. You can also do it from the website, but it's better if you go to help report a bug. Why? Because this is going to pre-fill the form, the report form, with uh, some information about the Blender version they are using and your graphics card and operating system. No personal information goes uh, into this form, just the uh, hardware level, but very high level. Um, so you need an account in developer.blender.org. That's the only uh, requirement. You need to have a user, right? So that way you can keep track of what it's, um, what's happening. The developers can ask you questions and then you can reply in the thread. So once you report, once you get to here, you will see that there is a few steps if it's the first time. And then at the end, you get a title and a description. Super simple. So in this case, the title, I think I'm going to name it Crash because it's easy for the developers to uh, find. It's like Crash. That's an easier one. Crash on making making grease pencil materials uh, zero user. Um, system information is already pre-filled. In this case, as you, sh as you see, it's Linux and these are my graphics card. Um, then the broken version, this is all pre-filled, worked. I'm not sure, actually, I, I can remove this because there is no version where it worked, but I know it worked. Short description of the error. So here, where it says, please fill out a short description, we can remove this and type our own. You can also say, like, it doesn't seem to happen on uh, regular meshes. Just to give you a bit more um, information. So, uh, exact steps to reproduce the error. So, in this case, um, we can say in the, the steps to reproduce the error is like open attach blend file. The, no, shift click on the on the X icon in the material of the grease pencil object. In this case, it only it's it's the only object we have enabled. So based on the default startup or an attached blend file, as simple as possible. Yes. So in this case, here is where I'm going to um, to attach the file. In this case, I have the grease pencil crash. So once you leave it here, it's going to upload here on the bottom. You can see the preview of how it's going to look. But the attached blend file, you click on the X icon. You can even add a picture just to make it a bit even more clear. There. Copy to the clipboard, you can paste it, and then you're going to have this. So to make it full screen, you can do size full, and it's going to be, if the picture is not too big, it's going to fill in the space over there. And with this, I think it should be pretty um, pretty simple. We can add more uh, information. Um, also, a uh, fun fact, or like, interestingly enough, it only happens when trying to, to shift delete the first material, not with the second or others. Just a bit more information. So I think it's pretty clear enough. I, we are good. We can always say like, thanks. You know, there are humans that are checking for this stuff. Have a nice day. And I think this should be good. Let's create a new task, which is like creating the back report. And bam, that's it. Thank you if you made it to the end. This is uh, one of the simplest cases when it's a crash, but if your file is a bit more complex, you know already what to do. You should simplify as much as possible. Even if you maybe are working for a studio or a client that you can't really show the contents of what you're working on, just remove everything and make a cube. Of course, sometimes it's not very easy to simplify files, so maybe try to obscure some of the uh, the data there with the monkeys. Yeah, monkeys everywhere. So that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao. Small addendum. Don't even bother looking for the crash because it's been fixed already while I was editing the video. Now you can get the file, shift, click, and it works as expected. So Thank you very much to Antonio Vasquez, main developer of Grease Pencil. He went ahead and just fixed it. But before that, Matias Mendiola, he is part of the uh, Grease Pencil team, he's an artist, but went ahead and tested the file that I uploaded it, confirmed that it works, that it, it crashes on stroke and monkey primitives, but it didn't happen on the blank Grease Pencil object, which is uh, curious, right? So this kind of information is important for the developers to rule out all kind of configurations or the way internally how these primitives are made. It's also very important for them. 
you can help out this way. You don't have to be a developer just by testing the files that people upload and saying, hey, this also crashes on Windows or Mac or with uh, AMD, Intel, NVIDIA graphics card. It helps to some some bugs sometimes happen in a specific configuration. So just go, going and testing and saying how if it confirmed, you can confirm it or not. It's very important for developers and it makes for a more stable software for all of us. So yes, go bug report, test, triage, and let's make the most stable software ever. <laughs> Ciao.